Hey guys, what's up YouTube? So today I'm going to be bringing you a highlight reel. The reason I'm doing a commentary sort of style over this highlight reel is because of the fact that I'm an idiot and I actually forgot to record the game uh, volume. I don't know, some weird stuff happened while recording and I can't bring you just my voice over it considering uh, my, going, like, my live voice because it came out the wrong microphone because my whole setup was all screwed up. So anyways, uh, I'm going to bring you this pretty much explaining why I was doing it in this situation. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this clip. Uh, this was during the 2K series last night. It was versus FaZe. It was last map. And I came up big two rounds in a row that put us in a, you know, that gave us a pretty big lead, uh, which pretty much in my opinion uh, was one of the biggest reasons we were able to win that map because we started off with such a big lead in terms of rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and start this clip. Here you go. Alright, so as you notice off the break, I'm lightweight extreming to B so I can get there faster than the enemy team, so I'm not really too slow. As you notice, I'm using a sniper rifle kit. Marcus runs up and throws down a trophy for me so that I don't have to sacrifice my uh, incog perk. Here I see a guy cross the truck, so I continue to just pre him to see if he peeks out. I have the variable scope on, so I can actually zoom in a lot farther and hit more accurate shots with the scope. And one of the players pops in front of me i end up picking up jcap real quick off the break of the game they smoke it and i have incog on so this smoke actually benefits me and marcus here because we're actually able to move around through it because they can't see us through the smoke here i end up getting an angle on post office i just so i switch up my angle and i just pre-aim this area and make sure that there's nobody here i pretty much destroyed one guy coming across the screen so i just kind of post up in this angle and wait for another player to peek that guy goes to the bomb plant he's done for I'm just pretty much angled here so I can see the truck. I can see if anybody's rushing me. I can see the bomb. And I see another player. This guy comes back out, decides to challenge me. I kill him. And now the last player on the map is on the far left side. For some reason, my teammates are still challenging this guy, even though there's like 15 seconds left. They all pretty much die and leave me in a 1v1. And I'm trapped in a corner where this guy knows where I'm at. I double back. I try to juke him out. And I see that he's coming for the bomb plant. And I take him out behind the bomb. Pretty simple round. I just, it was just really, really nervous situation considering my teammates all just rushed this one guy and died. So all the pressure was really left on me to finish out that round. Uh, when in my opinion, it shouldn't even have gotten that close. So moving on to the next round. This is an offensive round. My team here is going to be pushing towards the B-bomb. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lightweight extreme for most of my sprint just so I don't start off slowly using an AR. Here I switch classes to a Remington soon. There it is. I have double nades on my class here, so I toss a nade over the water tower. Don't get a hit marker. Then I'm going to toss a nade over towards the other side of the map. Well, I don't do it yet. I'm so used to doing this. There you go. I throw my nade over. Marcus pops a smoke. I drop a trophy for him so he doesn't get nade while he plants. He's going to go for the bomb plant. I'm going to back up, and I'm going to watch this flank. So as you notice, we still have four up. Four versus four. Marcus gets uh, plant the bomb. They get first blood on Marcus, so Marcus is down. It's a 3v4 in their favor. I'm just watching flank. One guy comes around the corner. He tries to pepper me with bullets here in a second, and unfortunately, I can't clean up the kill. So that guy's on flank. Nameless gets a kill. Anthony and both kill a die. I'm left in a 1v3 here, trapped on the back of the map where they know. That guy tries to rush me. The other guy tries to pick me off the head glitch of the Toyota. I take him out. I take cover behind the wheel here so he can't shoot my feet. And here, I just draw out the time. Make sure he's not on the bomb. And there you go. Easy clutch. That was a really tough situation for me. But well, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the clip. And thank you guys for supporting us last night in the 2K series, unfortunately, with the whole optic situation in the tournament. We couldn't really do much about. But that was an awesome clip. I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys. Peace.